Good morning. First, I want to restate my shock and now my outrage at very serious charges facing Mr. Garfield. But we still have very important work to do at the City of Superior. It is obvious to me that Mr. Garfield cannot and should not continue to represent his constituents while he faces criminal charges, and I am demanding his resignation from the Superior City Council. I want to again thank the Superior Police Department, the Douglas County Sheriff's Department, and the Douglas County District Attorney's Office for their professionalism in this very sensitive situation. I'm fully confident in our, district, in our district attorney's ability to deliver the justice that this community and this survivor deserves. It is important that we do not minimize the severity of this situation, nor attempt to simply move on. There is a victim here. That person cannot minimize what happened. This incident is receiving special attention because of Mr. Garfield's elected position, but law enforcement officers respond to hundreds of domestic violence calls every year, and every one of those cases is inexcusable. Because there is nothing a person can do that can justify violence from someone that claims to love them. I've been in contact with this survivor in, in this case, and I've offered my support and continued friendship because this survivor is just as innocent as every other survivor of domestic violence. I'm going to again ask the public and the press continue to respect the privacy and dignity of this person that hasn't done anything wrong. I want to also encourage anyone else that feels unsafe in a relationship to, re to reach out to CASDA and any person suffering from substance abuse or mental health, is or mental health issues to seek help before a crisis occurs. Thank you. Can I try to answer any questions? Danny, yeah. Um, political candidates or just people holding elected office have committed wrongs in the past. I mean, are you taking this as a step forward to hold every city councilor or elected official accountable for their actions in their private life? Or, I mean, is there a line here that you're drawing as to the severity of this incident? No, I, I'm not sure I understand your question. Are you asking if we should, if, if public officials should be held accountable for? Are you going to ask for the resignation of every elected official who is charged with a crime? Uh, I believe if you are charged with a felony and looking at potentially months in court to resolve said felony and are unable to attend to your duties, then I don't think you can effectively represent your constituents. I think that's the the, the clear dividing line here. You know, of course people make mistakes, but this is bigger than just a simple mistake. This is something that will, by the nature of the charges, prevent him from serving effectively in public office. I think his constituents are going to need better representation than he's going to be able to provide. And how will his replacement be chosen? That's up to the city council. Uh, it's also a matter of how and whether he is removed from office. That is not uh, an authority that I have as the mayor. Uh, either he would have to do that himself or the city council would have to take action to do that. If they do that, it is my understanding that it is also their right to name a replacement or decide to hold a special election. Can the citizens institute a recall? Not for one year from him being elected. Sure. What do you hope the community will take away from this? Uh, well, frankly, I'm disappointed that the community has to take anything away from uh, this was an inexcusable situation. It's not the kind of thing that we want to be working on in public office. We want to be working on moving this community forward. If there is a silver lining, and I doubt that there is, uh, I hope it brings some attention to the fact that domestic violence is a very serious problem in this community. And I uh, hope that both men that have uh, anger problems or substance abuse or mental health issues can seek help and that people that are victims of domestic violence can also seek support and relief from their own situation. And Mayor, you said you talked to the victim in this incident. I did. Um, can you tell us how she's doing? Uh, it was a private conversation, but my understanding is she's doing okay. Other questions? Thank you all.